Okay, so we, we've covered about how, and we've covered the subject of how we came into this society as such, and the fact that we've got this fictional realm or game or matrix operating in order to suck us into it so that we work within that game for the benefit, not of ourselves, but it's actually for the benefit of the select few. And it's, it's generally not difficult to actually work out who those select few are because, you know, just follow the money. Qui bono? Who benefits? Qui bono? Who benefits? But in commercial terms, how has this kind of been expressed, shall we say? Well, bearing in mind that this entire fictional world is bankrupt, all right? It has no money. You need only look at those Bank of England notes to see that there's nothing backing up the promise that is detailed on those notes. They were, at one point in time, albeit under different design, um, backed by gold, and they're no longer backed by gold. All right? So you could, from, from that perspective, say, well, if there's no gold or lawful money around, um, of course we're bankrupt. And it is bankrupt. It is a bankrupt game. All right? So what is it that actually powers up that game? Well, just as in the Matrix, it is your energy. But how is that expressed in commercial terms? In other words, how does the commercial world that we see described on TV in stock markets and the money markets and everything else, how does that actually quantify everything? How does it express it? Okay, well, first things first, let's look at the word money. Now, the word money, the etymology of that, derives from capital or collateral or cattle. You heard me correctly cattle. Okay. In other words, um, when we have our birth registered and the state becomes aware of our existence, in effect, our, our body is kind of signed over to the state. Now, people might find that difficult to believe, but don't take my word for it. Go check out, and I think it was around about 1208, that King John actually pledged the country and all the people to the Pope in order to obtain his crown. Alright, so we were given away, right? So if, if, you're operating, if you're operating under the presumption that the king at some point in time has the authority to give you away, well, way back when, King John gave away the country and gave away the people, yeah? Now, the Vatican and su successive popes then followed that up with various papal balls claiming ownership to your mind and to your soul. But that's a whole different presentation. So mind, body and soul is owned by, according to the Vatican, the Vatican. Okay, but different, different presentation altogether. So we get back to how this thing is expressed commercially. The baby, your body is effectively operating as collateral and from that collateral okay we can then derive money all right um, in other words promises now this is most clearly um, expressed with the following we all vote right we all vote well what's the etymology of the word vote well the etymology of the word vote is promise it's a promise and when you look at commercial activity, um, a promise, if that promise can be completely trusted and if that promise can be relied upon, well, you become secure in the knowledge that that promise will be fulfilled. In other words, a promise is a security and securities are commercial instruments. So the body acts as a security or collateral into the fictional realm. Now, what is it that's backing up that promise? Well, once we've become registered, if you like, uh, or our, our birth, that event has actually become registered and the state has been notified of that event, as I mentioned, we're treated as security. And this entity called the person, which is a UK citizen, is set up for us to fill that capacity, should we so choose. And of course, most of us just go along, as I mentioned, with the herd, and yes, we fulfil that 
that role. All right, we, we act the part. Okay, we act the part um, in the public show, we could say. So we become a security, and you could say that we then become a member of the public. All right, public being that word that we will quite often attach, or people will quite often attach to the the game of society, the realm of society, all right? So we become a member of the public. Now, where does the word member derive from? Well, the etymology of member is flesh, okay? Now, I know you've probably got one or two thoughts going through your mind about the word member. Um, so as I say, the word member derives from the word flesh. So in other words, we're backing this up, the security or surety underpinning this commercial instrument is our flesh. Or should I say, our body. All right. And then from that, of course, other instruments can then be created. All right. Now, of course, as I sit here as a man, all right, if I were naked, for example, what do I have as currency? What, what do I have that could possibly represent or be treated as currency? Well... Knowledge can be currency, that's cool, but then again, not everybody has knowledge that someone else wants to buy or utilise. But generically speaking, what we have is the ability to sign our name, okay? In other words, that's a commercial expression of our energy, but we also have labour, all right? In other words, the energy that's within us, the life force that's within us, enables this body to move around, and with this body, with these hands, with these legs, with this head, with this body, I can then do things, all right? Build things, create things, come up with ideas, okay? I can perform a function for someone. Um, I could be a slave, yeah? And so we have energy, all right? So we have energy in two forms, that's labour, but also it's the ability to put a mark and bind our body, or future energy, to something, all right? It's binding, especially when that signature is at the bottom of a promise, all right? My body then bonds, or is then bound by that promise, and it's my energy that then has to fulfill whatever that promise was about, normally the payment of something, okay? So we have to understand that just as per the film Matrix, we have been turned, over time, into nothing more than a battery in order to propagate uh, a fictional game which has been set up for us to effectively perform the same functions that we had the right to perform by just purely arriving here on this planet, okay, or to undertake the same activities. The difference being that whereas when we arrived here on, here on this planet, we were free, okay, or you could argue that we weren't free, but let's say that we were free for argument's sake. We were free to engage in various activities, obviously not causing harm to people, not stealing property and things of that nature. But we could go and, as I say, do business or travel, or we could... Um, make things, design things, come up with ideas. We had the right to work the land. We had the right to shelter, water, light, heat, clothing, yeah, food, all free of charge. This realm, the state, has actually replicated that and then enticed us in to operate within its banner, within its fictional world. All right, And that's purely for one reason and one reason only. So that when you're operating on their turf, you can be taxed. You can be taxed. And that tax goes to benefit certain parties. All right? Taxation doesn't necessarily do or, or pay for things that you think it pays for. All right? I know we've all been sold a line. I know we've all been sold a line because we're, I see that propagated on television whenever I care to look at television. But that ain't necessarily the truth. Okay? In order to find the truth, you have to go and look for the truth. Don't just accept someone else's truth. And don't even accept what I'm saying here. Go check it out for yourself and go work it out for yourself. Come up with your own dissemination and your own judgment on the matter. So we've been turned into securities, all right? And 
Those securities and that event is represented by your birth certificates. All right, so do me a favor, just hold your birth certificates up to the light and you will see watermark, seal and a signature. Now go look at a banknote. You'll notice on a banknote, watermark, seal, signature. Because ultimately they're the same thing. They are the same thing. I appreciate some of the other content is different, but ultimately these things are the same thing. All right, they are a claim on something. Okay, they, they represent something. They are, in effect, money or currency. They represent money or currency. And the currency that they represent is us, our energy. That's what they represent. Okay, there's one or two other things that they represent, and we'll come on to that later. So you have to understand that all money is derived from the people. That money, in the form of energy or energetic currency, promises putting your mark to something, binding yourself to something, your future labour, is what is used to actually propagate that gain. Okay? And in the next presentation I'm going to come on and explain how it actually prepays everything within what is effectively a bankrupt gain. See you next time.